What up, my tubies? We back for another drafty here of the Arena Cube. Been forcing a couple decks lately. Uh, yeah, maybe we'll do the same, or maybe I'll just take Magma Opus. I don't know. Take Magma Opus, do some fun stuff, or something else. Who knows? Who can say? Um, yeah, I'm just taking Magma Opus here. I think this is just one of the best win conditions in the cube anyways. Uh, don't want to do myself a disservice. Good pick. Good pack. Oh, actually, it's not a very good pack. I think the Magma Opus is clearly the best card. Judith is great for the red-black sack decks. Knight of Autumn's just a good solid all-around card, especially in Flicker. Wrath is solid, but yeah, this is pretty easy Magma Opus for me. Into a... okay, this pack is less good. Could follow up with another blue card here for sure. I do think the blue cards are the strongest, uh, if I don't want to just take like Ren and Seven. I'm down to take a Planeswalker though. I think normally I would probably just take like Sot coming. Uh, but if we take the Ren and Seven here, we're very likely to end up wheeling one of these blue cards anyways. Yeah, let's do that. See if we can find... There's a Scholar of the Lost Trove. Uh, the thing about Scholar is that it just makes a good deck better often enough. I mean, I already have the Magma Opus with it, and the Ren and Seven actually is good with it because it mills stuff, but... Maybe Scholar's not the right pick here. I could see taking Vivian Reed, I could see taking Sedgemore Witch, Polygon's Command, even Rogrin Triumph's pretty solid. Uh, I've been really happy with any of these type of cards that can either kill an artifact and do something else, or just have, like, a braid kills an artifact or does, um, kills a creature. This one obviously nice because it does two things. Uh, hmm. Rogrin Triome or one of these powerful cards. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay, you know what? I'm going to change things up a little bit. I'm going to take the Sedgemore Witch. I wouldn't normally make this pick, I think, but the card is very, very good in the decks that I tend to draft anyways. So it seems like a fine pickup to me. Pick number four. We got what? We got a Shatter Skull Smashing. Mana Wars fine. Hall is decent. Disallow is okay. Could even take Mirari's Wake if we really wanted to go a little bit unhinged. Maybe I take Mirari's Wake. Yeah, what the hell? Why not? We'll have a little fun. Oh, yeah. Perfect follow-up to Mirari's Wake. In fact, this is a really late Oracle of Moldaya anyways, so I like this. Okay. See if we can do something fun with that now. We get a set of the wilds here, which could be okay. Languish is great. Chariot's good. Cast out, lands, bounce. All very solid choices. I think in this uh, cube, making sure you get some mass removal effects if you're not playing like a true aggressive strategy is uh, a really high payoff. I'm going to take the Languish here, but obviously I'm passing a ton of good cards. Languish has been an all-star for me though. Pick number seven, what do we got? Splendor's pretty fun. Sure, we can do some like crazy huge ramp deck. Normally I would just take, like, what, Memory Lapse here or something? But yeah, now let's take the mem uh, the Overwhelming Splendor. Do some crazy nonsense. Nice, we'll take a Thrag Tusk for sure. Passing some Fixing, Double Vision. Okay, I like this. This is looking hot and fresh and spicy. Uh, Dried Green Seeker is not bad. Yeah, it's just a solid 2-drop. Can end, uh, often end up drawing you multiple other cards. Don't think we need to take Deserted Beach here. Wheel to Consider. Meh. Probably not making the deck in the end. Liliana's not making the deck. DRC's probably not making the deck. I guess if I had to... If I had to say, I would probably end up drafting blue-green with a splash of all these other colors. Wow. These are the cards I was considering taking in that pack, too. I mean, now that we've delved into green this deep, I guess I'm just taking the Vivian over the Kologon's command. 
Vivian is fantastic, though. Essica is now a good play as well. Three mana ramp card in our deck. Fixer plus ramp that is. Okay. And, you know, they're... Like, if I end up playing five color, the Prismatic Bridge is not a crazy include. Although, often enough in my decks, the, the bridge is not good because this only hits, what, creatures? Oh, no, it also hits Planeswalkers. So maybe. I mean, I have Vivian and uh, Renan 7 already. Could take Rutstein. I think the land is better, though. I haven't taken a single land yet, so... I've also been really impressed with Trumpeting Herd. Four mana for two three threes, though. That probably shouldn't be so surprising. Wow, we wield settle too. Nice. All right, so I think we're doing like a green rampy style deck. Maybe a five color ramp. That's fun. You'll be happy to note I only have like one true blue card in this deck right now. As we get, damn, a really nice pack. A lot of good burn spells here. Dragonfire, Lightning Bolt. I consider Chandra a burn spell as well. Uh, we also have some good fixing, Fabled Passage, Blood Crypt, and then we have like Hydra and Midnight Clock. Hmm. This is an interesting choice here. I don't think you can go wrong taking fixing, but I really would like to take a different card. What do we want to do? I think it's going to be Chandra. Chandra is so good, and it's another good hit off of the Essica Prismatic Bridge, so let's have a little fun. Let's take Chandra here. You look flammable enough. Tezzeret, there's a Field of the Dead. We're probably going to end up wheeling the Ori. Uh, this is probably just Tome, right? Great versus Control, not bad versus Aggro. End up wheeling that chromatic orrery. Alright, I think that's the game plan there. Cosmos Elixir is okay. Bunch of lands in this pack as well. Um, I've been coming around to the, the Cosmos Elixir. I don't think it's like crazy by any means, but it's not bad. Sure, let's try that. I'm going to need to prioritize fixing a little bit higher, but... Hey, look what they gave me again. Discover the formula. Sadly, it's in a pack with Celestis and Treasure Map. But hey, I mean, I'll take it. Sure, why not? Like a moth to the flame, I take the Discover the formula. Savai Triome could be okay if I don't want to, what, take... No, we'll just take the Savai Triome. Again, gotta start taking some fixing. Red, black, white's not bad. Oh, there's a Mizix's Mastery if we wanted that. Don't think we do, though. This is probably just a better uh, chance to take Breeding Pool or maybe... I guess those two lands aren't that great. Yep. More fixing, more better seems right. Paradise Druid, Cold Steel Heart, Rex Sage, all fantastic choices here. I think I like the Cold Steel Heart a little bit more than the Paradise Druid, just because we do plan on potentially wrathing the board in a couple different ways. So even though the Druid can add any color, um, you know, repeatedly, uh, repeatedly rather, and Cold Steel Heart, you have to choose something. I think that's a better choice. This figure versus Magma Quake, both okay. I guess we could lean heavier into red than black. It comes down to that. I mean, our Sedgemore Witch is actually not very good right now. I don't have many instants and sorceries. Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll try taking the Quake. Maybe we're going to play red for removal over black for removal. But I guess if I'm going to get the Orrery back... I can just play colors. All the colors. Blood Crypt on the wheel versus Scorching versus Olvenwald Hydra. Nice pack. Uh, This would be a double off-color splash. Yeah, I think, again, I'm just going to lean heavier into the red and take the Scorch for the early game. There's the Chromatic Ori. Perfect. 
don't care for Field of the Dead. Has not impressed me. You can still build a good deck that utilizes Field of the Dead, but that card is just sadly not as good as it used to be in the cube. So what are we looking at now? We have six total instants and sorceries for Sedgemore. Oh, nice thing is here with Settle the Wilds, we have permanents going all the way up to eight. We have threes, fours, fives, uh, one, six, one, seven, one, eight. So Settle the Wilds looking pretty juicy here. Uh, and this is only pack two, right? Yeah. So we can focus on basically mono fixing in pack three as we get a nice red green land there. Both of our main colors, it looks like. Yeah, five color green ramp. I would dare to say this is a different uh, different deck than I normally draft, right? I mean, I have Discover the Formula and Magma the Opus, sure. Oh, wow, Celestis coming back is so good, too. Fixing, card selection, life gain even. That was a huge pickup for us. So somebody took the treasure map, but that doesn't even matter. And yeah, Sheltered Thicket, absolutely. I'm liking that. <laughs> ah, poor Mizix's mastery. Where did you go wrong? You know what? It might actually end up making the deck now that I look up, look at it. Vorinclex is also really good with the three Planeswalkers I have. Okay, so I think removal and fixing are just going to be the number one choices at this point. Because basically we have everything we want. So while normally here I might take like Prophetic Titan or something, I think this is just an easy caravan, right? Probably going to end up cutting the Essica... Um, I mean, I guess Overwhelming Splendor is a little bit awkward. Wake, I'll still splash if we can find a little bit more white fixing, but yeah, this is easy caravan. Into a bad fixing here. We don't really want to take Gilded Lagoose. Although it's fine. I almost would rather take the Elspeth's Nightmare. Or the Wilt, even. I guess Wilt Wheels. Elspeth's Nightmare has been a very, very impressive removal spell in this format. Oftentimes a two for one plus some extra graveyard value, right? But... Uh, might be a little bit of a stretch. I mean, I guess the Goose is still going to be okay. It's just going to die to a lot of my removal. That's fine. We'll take the goose. Into a scarab god. Dang. Or a green black land. That's pretty good. Ugh. Scarab god's another one of those cards that is just really hard to pass because of how powerful it is. I guess we're not playing the Mizzix's Mastery, are we? I mean, it's insane with Opus. It's good with Discover. It's okay with the Languish, but it doesn't look like it's going to make the deck. We just ended up wheeling it, so it's not like I took it early or anything. Yeah, alright, we'll take Scarab Jeezy. Fixing here? No, no fixing. Although, I guess Golden Egg is kind of fixing. This just looks to be an Explorer for some ramp. Fixing, 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 yes. A couple red green lands, a red black land, a green white land. Um, I guess we probably just want to take more red green. Let's take a scry land here. I don't really care for Vastwood Surge, and it's probably going to end up wheeling anyways. Powerful cards. Do we want any of them? Too many Planeswalkers for the Immortal Sun. Ulamog is... Cute, but probably not good enough. This looks like either a Poison the Cup. I guess we could take the Huntmaster too. That's a solid win con. Although I don't think we need any of those anymore. Yeah, let's just go with some removal. Extra Poison. Escape to the Wilds is great. Tutelage is great. Oh wait, we're not playing Tutelage. Sorry. Escape to the Wilds or Gilded Lotus here for us. Oh man, I've been super, super happy with Escape to the Wilds, but... Maybe Gilded Lotus is a better choice.
Ah, it's close. I'm going to take the escape. Good, good. Some more fixing. Let's take the stomping ground here. More fixing on the wheel, hopefully. No, I don't really care for Rada, but... Maybe that's okay. Honestly, it looks like I'm probably cutting the, the languish. Hmm. Or rather, the black cards in general. We just didn't really get there on the black. Which means we can cut that. And just go maybe baseline. Oh, I guess Scarab God then maybe becomes a cut, huh? That kind of sucks. We'll see if the fixing ends up working out, but... Feels like less and less likely then. Golden egg, perhaps. Nice. More red-green fixing. Alright, I mean, I'll just take all the red-green lands if they're going to keep coming up around. Like, we've gotten five red-green lands now. Even a mammoth doesn't seem unplayable if we wanted. So, baseline red-green, splashing a little bit of blue, splashing a little bit of white, maybe? I mean, maybe the, even the Discover the Formula is not going to be played here. How good is a red-black-white land? Not very good if I'm not running the black. Could it be that I'm actually going to be cutting the Discover the Formula? That seems crazy. But it might be right. One, two, three, four, five, six, six, sorry, five red green lands and a breeding pool. At the very least, Opus is splashable. But maybe the wake is not what we want anymore then? All of the, I mean, I can cut the wilt if I want to. Like I said, I don't think Rada is good enough. I have the Oracle of Moldiah, which is just straight up better. Man, that sucks not being able to play the Scarab God, though. I guess with, with Ori, it's not out of this world, but it's a double off color splash, which makes it strange. Do I have enough early game removal, or do I need to add this black back in? Let's see. If I get... Dark Boar Pathway, Woodland Cemetery... Then we could add the Savai Triome as like a red-black land. But double black on Languish still seems maybe a little bit awkward. I'll go, although I guess the, the double black on Languish is just as hard as the double blue on the formula. Two, four, six... Currently add enough playables. But yeah, I could certainly cut the wilt. Instants and sorceries, we have seven. Could just try to shove the languish and the scarab god in, maybe? I mean, I guess Mirari's Wake is also not really doing much here, and I don't have any white lands. Except for... the Savai. But, let's see, we have Caravan, we have Celestis, we have other ways to fix. Maybe Ori is just better here than Wake, though. Eh, that's probably correct. Not running the Wake. Feels bad, but probably right. So my removal here is Quakes, Dragonfire, and Chandra. Hmm. Yeah, we can go a little bit deep. I'm willing to play the Scarab God and Languish in this deck. <laughs> and then if we're playing the black we can get the Savai as a red white land and then cemetery and pathway can come in so close to playing this mastery I don't think it's quite there but it's really close
man, some of these hands are going to be super awkward, aren't they? We're going to draw just like all of our top end and none of our early game. Like, I probably want Poison the Cup, too. Uh, is it bad to splash the Scarab God? Now I'm beginning to talk myself out of it. Yeah, I think it's worth it. Let's live a little. Have a little fun. Red green, red, green ramp, splashing, some blue, some black. Give this baby a shot. Alright, no planes necessary anymore since we're cutting the wake. Need probably just one island for random seek purposes. One swamp. Mountains. We have one, two, three, four, five. We have six red sources without any mountains. So we probably don't need more than two of those tops. Green sources are what we're going to need. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, we have eight green sources without any forests. So go up to like ten there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, we have ten green sources with two forests. I mean, I guess we should just go up to 11 and play it safe on our base color. 8 red. So yeah, do we want another blue source or do we want another black source then, I guess is the question. 1, 2, I probably need 2 islands then. I wonder if Rada is better than Green Seeker in this scenario. Eh, to hell with it. Let's have some fun. I think we could probably be running Poison the Cup in the Sedgemore Witch too, but... Red-green ramp with a, with a splash of spice. Or should I say red-green ramp with a splash of... Myself. With a splash of what I like to do in this format. Oop, that's my phone connecting. <laughs> Disregard. All right, we are on the play. Hand looks good. Depending on what our first draw step is, we'll decide if we want to go with uh, Cold Steel Heart or the Dryad Green Seeker. Alright, let's go with the Cold Steel Heart. Let's go ahead and name Blue. And that means we can play Oracle next turn. Guardian Idol, sure. And yeah, land off the top, come on. Damn. No, never lucky. Ooh. All right, so here I think we're going to play out the Maze Mine Tome and then just play out the Green Seeker. We could also have decided to draw on with the Green Seeker immediately, but I think this is fine. We're going to put a pause on our upkeep. We're going to go ahead and scry here end of turn two. Well, land here is fantastic for Vivian Kill the Thief. Oh, they shocked themselves, though. Boo. All right, we will keep that. Upkeep, activate, draw the land. And then we can just draw naturally. Shock. Probably not going to resolve since they shocked them. So oh, it did. Okay, never mind. Let's tear Excellent. Feel the wrath of so the only downside about this is that their guardian idol can attack and kill the Vivian, but that means they have to spend their turn doing that instead. Wow, they're not. 
Oh, that's a mistake on their part, I feel like. Alright, keep a land on top. Yeah, they said oops, they know. <laughs> Draw for turn. Immediately activate the Vivian. Balance comes. And yeah, Chandra is immune to uh, counter magic, so. Just insta uptick. Say go. Or is it getting a little warm in here? Sure. So they can kill the Vivian here, but I mean, we are looking pretty good. Ooh, key to the archive. That is a fun one. So now I think we just save the Maze Mind Tome. We don't bother scrying. We are going to use the Dryad Green Seeker on upkeep, though, because we don't want to draw lands. Uh, if you do want to draw lands, you want to activate your Green Seeker on main phase, because then you get two different looks, right? But we want to use it on upkeep because we don't want to draw lands. Magma Opus, nice draw. All right, let's go upticking again. Let's see, two, five. So let's go ahead and... Draw with the tome here, see what we find. It's another blue source, but I think we're just gonna settle here for... Let's see, if I play a land first and settle, then we're gonna grab Orrery. Let's do that. <laughs> Calculated. Key to the Archive scares me a little bit. We'll see what they grabbed, depending on what they cast here soon enough, I'm imagining. All right, they attack Chandra. Wow, annoying. Two, four, six, they have eight mana available? It's annoying. Oh wow, that's really annoying. I have so many cards in my hand that are just too good. That, oh, so they're playing a more of a flicker deck, okay. That's whatever then. Sure. So we can dump out our hand of good cards. Go ahead and uptick Chandra. Let's get toasty. In essence, this Ori only costs um, two mana, so let's go ahead and cast that. And then five, six, seven. I guess I'm Celesticing right now. Sixteen cards left in my deck. Sure. Alright, so they get to eat my They get to eat my Magma Opus. And then my graveyard's gonna be exiled next turn. That's fine. We still don't know what the card they grabbed off of the key is. And I mean, they're on a very short clock with Chandra. Right, they already have three of the ping emblems. So that alone is going to be a three turn clock after I activate next turn. Oh, they're attacking my face. Okay. I guess they just feel like they need to pressure me. That makes sense. Sure. Let's 
Go ahead and give him a fourth emblem. Is it just me, or is it getting Let's try to resolve the scare of God. It resolved, okay. Let's go ahead and get back our uh, Oracle main phase here and see if we can get an extra land off the top or something. Did not. Land. Land. Goose. And pass. We can still activate the uh, Scarab God twice here. Sure. Lightning Helix was there. Fine. That's fine. I have four life whenever I want to with the Maze Mind Tome. I also have a bunch of uh, mana to still activate food and whatnot if I want to. So, they're just going to die next turn, it looks like. I don't even know what they can do here. I don't think Noxious Gear Hulk does it. All right, let's go ahead and steal their thief. So they get to gain 5, go to 16. Probably doesn't matter. 13 cards left in my deck. Oh, that's right, they get to flicker Noxious Gear Hulk. Right, 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 right. Sure. Okay, well, they're at a lot more life than I initially said, aren't they? Back up to 20. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, so let's see. If I Magma Quake... Damn, this is actually bad that it gets exiled. But I guess that's the play. Glad I can help with your not being on fire problem. I don't want to end up decking myself. It's a lot of land though. Alright, let's attack for four. They can activate the Guardian Idol if they wanted to. Sure, that's fine. Yep, kill the resto. Ah, uh, I don't want want to overdraw. We're just going to dump stuff out. Alright, presumably this game is going to end relatively quickly now. Oh, you know what? I shouldn't be gaining life here. And the reason is, I don't want to draw cards with the Cosmos Elixir. And they can just tap my creatures with Thassa. I don't want to draw a card. That's a, okay, well, that's pretty good. It's going to uptick Chandra by four. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> Five Chandra emblems, like what the hell? Eight cards left in my deck though. Gotta be careful here. <laughs> no! Stop it! Well, I mean, that taps out a lot of their mana. So they can't use Thassin nearly as much. Oh man, they get a Flicker Cloud Blazer and Key? But they have to be just dead here, right? They go back up to 10. No, they're just dead. What a crazy game. What the heck? Doesn't matter. Decline. Doesn't matter what I do here, right? I can just... Six emblem them. Alright. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Well, I guess I'm glad I ended up splashing that Scarab God because it pulled a lot of weight. Red, green, XX, 1 0. Successful start. Can we do it uh, six more times? So the cube, as of this recording, uh, the arena cube anyways, goes down tomorrow. So... Gotta get in our games while we can. Is this a keeper? I don't know. I guess I'm going to keep it and hope that the opponent is not playing a deck that is super aggressive here. Because right now we have Caravan into Elixir or maybe Caravan into Ren. Okay, well they indeed are playing a what appears to be a somewhat aggressive deck with a turn to a Danto Vanguard. Yeah, we might lose this one. We're on the draw and I kept a slow hand versus what appears to be a faster deck. Damn, okay, I'm going to need to draw, what, Magma Quake? Deal with the tokens. We're taking five next turn. I can Ren in seven and make a 4-4 four, four token next turn, but this is... Yeah, this is... Magma Quake or bust. And that ain't it. Alright, good beats. That will probably be game over then. I can block. Let's see, I'm going to go to 11 here. Block, take 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, go to 1. Alright, GG's. Well, this is why we drafted early interaction, but... Kept a hand that did not work out versus it. You got me. Doesn't matter what you cast. Even if I went up to 15, we still lose that game. Because with a Magma Quake off the top, the uh, the Adanto Vanguard still kills us. Man, compare and contrast that game to the previous game. And it's like, wow. That's why you have to uh, you have to draft interaction in this format. The aggro decks like that, that red-white one keep you in check. But, again, that's on me. On the draw with a slow hand. Like, even if we're on the play, that hand becomes much, much more playable, right? We go turn 3 Caravan, they go turn 3 History. We go turn 4 Ren, make a token. Um, 
they would so did they play land and ferocidon if they didn't have a land they wouldn't be able to kill the token and make a ferocidon i don't know i guess in the dark it's probably just better to mulligan a little bit more aggressively especially if you're on the draw Otherwise, you're just giving aggro decks like that free wins with that type of hand. Ooh. All right, we are on the draw again. And this is this is another sad keep. It's it's reminiscent to the previous hand, but this one at least has well now a, a languish as well. But I was gonna say a thrag tusk for some early stabilization. But it looks like we're not playing against an aggressive deck, so we might have time. Uh, depending on when we cast the settle. Oh cramp! Oh god! <laughs> It was leg day at the gym. Oh man, I just got a big old cramp. Oh, Charlie horse or whatever. Oh god. Oh man. Oh. Oh. Oh yeah, that was good. Okay, sorry. Uh, depending on what turn we decide to cast the settle, would we'll, we'll determine what kind of permanent we get. I'm okay casting it here on turn three because we can get one of our good four drops. We have Oracle and uh, what? Cosmos Elixir. Yeah. Ooh. Juicy cramp. All right. Sorry about that. I had to stretch my leg. Typhoon on zero. I like that play. They stole my Oracle. Very rude. Valky on top of their deck. Hmm. Well, we need to find a black source. It wouldn't be a bad turn to resolve Vivian, but let's get, try to get the value off of Oracle. Alright, then we can go land, land, explore. Great, we did find one land at least. And they found a land as well. Oh, they found two lands next turn, damn it. Yeah, them stealing Oracle was pretty gross. I'm gonna Lily kill my Oracle, maybe? Sure. Let's just slam Vorinclex and... Try to kill their Lily, I guess. Man, they keep hitting all the lands off of their Oracle, and we don't have double black for Languish yet. We can potentially go Vivian uptick into untapped black source, but if they just... Oh, I was going to say, if they just play my... Uh, or rather, play the uh, the Valky and copy Thrag Test, they could get a 3-3 out of the deal as well. Okay, I mean, they only have two unknown cards in their hand. That Oracle has drawn them effectively, what, three or four cards, though? Kind of sucks. That's a pretty good one, too, actually. In fact, that's probably better. Let's run out Vivian. Nice. Insta-ult with uh, Vorinclex. Nature brings your reckoning. And now we don't even need to Magma Quake on main phase. Excellent. Vigilance, Trample, Indestructible. Okay. Let's block here. I'm gonna go ahead and Magma Quake on one to protect my Vivian. Oh, wait, that kills my... I just wasted Magma Quake. I forgot that Magma Quake dealt to creatures as well. <laughs> All right. 
That's bad, because now they have Holebreaker Horror coming off. And they have Meat Hook Massacre. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's right. The Vorinclex has... Okay. So the way that Arena is made to look, it says I have zero toughness, but remember, it actually... It's a 3-3 from the Meat Hook with... Um, with minus 5, minus 5 on it. Damn it. This is going to be a really close game, though. If they have a... Well, no, I guess it's not. They're going to have to chump with their hole breaker if they don't have something else to cast with it. Or they're going to have to turn Valky into Thrag Tusk. Like, Vivian Emblem is kind of messed up. I mean, I, this game shouldn't be close. I should have Magma Quake in my hand still. And that would basically just end the game on the spot. Yeah. Uh-oh. Burial Rites Oracle. Ah, they're drawing an Eldest Reborn! I need to draw... something fast. Okay, that works, right? They don't gain Vigilance in this trail. They don't gain Haste, so... Oh, I guess I, I was guaranteed to get my Thrag Tusk back anyways. Never mind. We were fine. I don't know why I was worried. The game should already be over, though, for the record, once again. I guess they have to unburial rights. Um... This isn't actually all that good. I was going to say Unburial Rights Clone Crafter and hit, hope to hit something off of me again, but they can't bounce Thrag or uh, Vorinclex because it has Trample. And bouncing Thrag Tusk leaves me with another 5 5 or whatever. Oh, aren't. They're so close to dead on board. They have to put Holebreaker Horror on... Okay, well, that works. They have to put Holebreaker Horror on Vorinclex, and they would have to put all the other three on... Um, on uh, Ragtusk, but obviously... This means we just win now. Yeah, I'm glad I got that Vorinclex. Like I was saying, with Planeswalkers, Vorinclex is just insane. So if you missed that interaction I was talking about, um, the Vorinclex doubles all of the Planeswalker loyalty when it enters. So, for the most part, you can just instantly uh, ultimate any Planeswalker as soon as it enters the battlefield because it has double the loyalty it started with. Oh, man. That silly cramp, though. Alright, 2 and one Fun little deck here. Red-green XX ramp. We are on the play with a pretty good-looking hand here. Yeah, very good-looking hand. Good versus control, good versus aggro. Um... Let's see. I guess let's explore this turn. Just gonna try to find a tap land. Really want to draw a land next turn as well. We're probably going to play Tome instead of Caravan, depending, I guess. We have a Green Seeker. Great, we did find a land. Alright, so let's just go Caravan plus Thicket tapped. Unlock one of our five drops next turn. I think we're probably going to lead off with Vivian to try to find a secondary black source. Playing Bant, so maybe some kind of flicker deck available for them. Alright, found the secondary black source.
Dig, dig, dig. No one knows the wilds like I do. Triome. Sure. If they were going to activate Green Seeker, I think they should have done it before playing Surveyor, because they actually reduce their chance of, of finding a land there. Alright, hopefully they tap out for some random creature. Perfect. Alright, that is great. We'll see if they attack both at Vivian or if they want to use Green Seeker again. If they do this, I think I'm actually going to kill their Mind Stone in addition to Languishing. Take away some mana. Yeah, I like doing that. This is nothing. We will keep that. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Feels like we're pretty far ahead right now. Wow, with a pass. All right, let's start with an uptick. You can't stop nature. Rag Tusk it is. Hmm. I think we should probably try to play around them having a uh like a night pack ambusher. I think I'm gonna go with Ren and Seven here and make a token. Oh, sure, that's fine. I'm actually really surprised they held up counter. Oh, I mean, they could still have another flash creature, but I was going to say, I'm surprised they held up counter. Ah, okay. That makes more sense now. Wow, that was a good turn cycle for them. That's a good draw. So how do I beat an opposing Vorin Klex then? Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine... Yeah, I think we just discover this turn. Not bad. Go ahead and draw. Goose. There you go. Hopefully they don't have a Planeswalker this turn. That's kind of... Annoying if they just pass. But I guess Sublime Epiphany, if that's what they have here, doesn't really do much with an opposing Vorin Klex. So. Oh, my Maze Mind Tome with the Vorin Klex. I get, I get to just continuously, uh, continuously use it. It doesn't get counters on it. That's funny. One, two, three, four, five. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, well, I think I'm just gonna pass then and not run into counter magic. No rush here. I'll go ahead and take six. We have the goose making food too, so. Make them counter at the end of their turn if they're going to counter at all. Yep, they did have a counter. Um, go ahead and make a food off of the caravan. Then go ahead and scry. Three scries. All right, we have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten mana. I 
think we're gonna scare up God here. And probably just pass. They have a bunch of juicy hits. Start off with like a Lyrios. Ram through. That fights, right? Okay, that's good. Let's go ahead and... Scorch. And let's take their Illyrios, I think. Wait, what? Oh, it's not a fight! Well, that's pretty awkward. Right, it's not a fight, it's just a punch. Well, that's what I get for assuming what the card did. Do I lose now? I do lose. Good game. They get back ram through, they can ram through one of my... I mean, I guess it didn't matter what I did then, did it? Yeah, didn't change the fact. Because the ramp, double ram through would have just killed me anyways? Is that right? Could I have stolen something else? No, if I... If I don't... Um... Scorching, I can gain three li No, that would have killed me still. Huh. I, I, had to, I had to have punted that game really badly. Alright, my fault. I played around the, cr uh, the counter correctly by doing the Magma Quake at the end of their turn. But then I just completely biffed it after that. That was bad. Whoopsies. Alright, well, we're two and two. Probably should have been... A lot easier, though. And we are... Let's see. Play this on black. We have heavier green, but I actually want to cycle the Opus. Oh, opponent's playing Yorian. Damn. That's kind of annoying. They get to scry every turn. Your heart's good. You can name blue on that one. Ah, that's too bad. So yeah, play around the dismiss by passing with Magma Quake that one turn. I could have just slammed a bunch of creatures. I could have played Thrag Tusk and something else instead of holding up Scarab God activation. That might have also been better. Uh, that doesn't kill anything. I guess they just cast that out because they wanted to draw a card. Must be. Hmm. Alright, let's go ahead and escape here. Hope they don't have a random spell pierce. Nice, did find some lands. Tap, tap. So we're only going to get to play one of these cards next turn. We're not going to be able to play both, sadly. I'm guessing what I'm going to do is like Chromatic Ori into Scarab God. Well, now I'm debating if we want to just go Chandra minus three. Oh, no, wait, this is an elemental, isn't it? It is. That's not even actually good. Yeah, we're going to go Chromatic into Scarab God. Getting the Chromatic online is so, so good when we have discovered the formula, right? So I think this makes sense.
Oh, okay. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen mana next turn. Olvenwald Hydra, sure. It's gonna be a six six. Hmm. I guess we just start by discovering the formula. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Oh, that's gonna be really good. Alright, yeah. Discover into Languish, into Scorch That, into Celestis, into Tome and start scrying. <laughs> that is quite the turn. I've never actually seen Ren and Seven Ultimate. Return all permanents from your graveyard to your hand. You get an emblem with you of no, no maximum hand size. Okay. So, ultimating Vorinclex doesn't... Or sorry, ultimating Ren and Seven after playing Vorinclex doesn't actually do anything much right now. Sadly. Scavenging Ooze. Well, that's not very nice. Although it auto-tapped all of their green, awkwardly. Wow. Uh, that one, on the other hand, is definitely worth... Let's see. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So we can bait out a counterspell with Scarab God. Yep. And then we go Vorinclex into Vivian into ultimate, into attack for eight. <laughs> Seems good. Seems really good. Oh no! The Maze Mind Tome gets two counters added with Vorinclex on the battlefield. That's actually bad, isn't it? Whoops. That's funny. So I probably should have just scryed before playing the Vorinclex to, uh... To not give myself less time with the, uh, Tome. Yeah, I mean, opponent still has a ton of cards in their hand. It's not like they can't do anything in this scenario. Alright, so they can shoot Vivian down, and then they can activate the uh, Ooze twice, I guess, is their plan. Mm, that's not really winning, though. Yeah, we're not going to use the Tome for Scry. We'd rather just straight up draw cards with it. Since it's going to go away faster with the Vorinclex on the battlefield. Alright, let's swing in for eight. And then make an indestructible Thrag Tusk. I guess we can probably loot with Celestis first. Alright, they're over it. They are off of it. Man, Vorinclex has been an all-star in this cube. Wish I hadn't punted that previous game with the Scorching Dragonfire, but I don't think it mattered. I think the real punt was playing Scarab God and not doing anything else, I guess. 
If I play Thrag Tusk, like we gain five life. I'm, I'm talking about two games ago. Like end of turn magma, uh, magma Quake, they dismiss it. Great, played around that. Then I go Thrag Tusk Scarab God or something. I don't know. Instead of firing off the silly Scorching Dragon Fire. Okay, three and two. Hopefully we can get a couple more wins here. I'd really like to play a few more games with this deck. Red, green, ramp style. On the play. Three six drops. If I keep this, I know opponent's gonna go like turn one mountain scorch spitter. Not even I'm that greedy. Well, I am, but I'm not going to keep it. Alright, this hand's good. Um, wow, this hand ramps super quickly. I think I'm going to lose the escape here. Because I already can draw a bunch of cards and it fixes all of my mana too. <laughs> well, it wasn't turn one Scorch Spitter, but it was damn close. So, do I want to lead on Explore or Tome? I think Explore. Oh man, and we really want to just draw some lands. I mean, I guess get, getting the Tome online means I would have gained life faster. That could just be Demon Bolt, which I don't really care about. Okay. So we're definitely just going to Scry end of turn and then Scry again on upkeep. Assuming we don't see a land. But if that's just Demon Bolt that they have, then we're actually doing fine. So I'm going to main face Scry to look for a land on top. Beautiful. And then I'm going to play the Oracle out and play the land before they can Demon Bolt it. Oh, it's not a Demon Bolt. Huh. And is that like an Epiphany or something? And they're not mono red? I'm so confused. Ah, wait. What's a black foretell card? I have no idea what's going on. Nice. I definitely want to draw that. Uh, I mean, I assume we're crushing them here. My army ever grows. Sure, let's draw the Scarab God. Land on top. Yeah, I don't know how we're going to lose this game. I'm just... Am I forgetting some uh, Fortel card that they could have in black? This is all good by me. I mean, they know I have the Scare of God, so... Yeah, your move. Eh, this game's over. We ramped out way too fast and with too many bombs and they just didn't do anything. Alright, let me... What is that Fortel card? Ah, okay, poison. Duh. Black. Poison the cup. I have that in my sideboard. Of course. Of course, of course, you silly horse. Alright, got to four wins. I'm happy now. Anything above, beyond this is gravy. We're hoping, of course, to just rattle off a couple of more wins, but... Uh, you never know. With plays like mine, anything's possible.
All right, we have lost the die roll, but we have a good enough looking hand. Turn one Terramander. Go ahead and scry. That is worthy of keeping, because we're going to go turn two Dragonfire, turn three, we can play the Caravan. Turn four, we can go Elixir plus Tapland or something. Oh, they're just trying to get aggro on me. Okay. I think I'm just going to main phase this Scorch on the 2-1. It's going to be a long time before the Terramander can uh, activate, so I think I'm okay with that. And yeah, the opponent's just trying to smork me down super quickly. Alright, so... Caravan this turn, Tapland, Elixir, gain 2 life next turn. We're hoping that they don't have too many counters or something. I've got some powerful cards in my hand, but they're going to bounce their Terramander for a Scry and a Pump. I like that. So they're just looking for lands. I will keep a land. Yep. Here. We can go land. Ren. Make a 5-5. Five, five. Make them wish they... It kept their, uh... Oh, that's so good, but it's so slow. Uh, I think I have to bottom that. I want... If I had a land in my hand, I would snap keep it. Damn, they have a key to the archive. Okay. Hmm. Well, if we knew they were going to do this, I would have kept the Ori, because Ren is going to find me land, but... I mean, I guess they might chump attack their Dorat to kill the Ren in 7 here. That actually wouldn't make, uh... Or that wouldn't be too absurd for them to do so. They didn't, though. Okay. Ooh, and that actually means we can go eventually go uh, grab it again as well, right? Build Magma Quake and a land. Sure. So if I play land first, I can go grab the orrery. But it's probably better just to discover. Guessing. Uh, let's name blue here. Then we pass, gain two life, scry one. Okay, they hit a putrefy off of the key. I'm assuming the Ren is definitely dying this turn. I want to kill the key with Vivian, but I'm pretty sure we just need to kill the Dorat. So we're going to go to 15. Ren and 7 dies. Let's see here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So I can go settle. Yeah, yeah, this is a good turn. I can go settle. And that's going to grab Orrery. Then I can play my land. Play the Ori. Vivian down the uh, Dorat. Okay. Really wish I could kill their key there since they're kind of stuck on lands, but that definitely makes the most sense. Sure. Everybody keeps stealing my Oracle of Moldaya. Nice. Vivian just killed a creature and gained four life. Perfect. Let's do this again. And with that, I feel like we are insanely far ahead. 
16 cards left. I have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 mana available. So I guess let's lead with Thrag Tusk. See if they have a counter. Because if they counter this, we can Scarab got it back. <laughs> Most excellent. The bait has been successfully fired off. And we need to do this main phase. Okay, well, they just concede. I was going to say, we need to do this main phase because they have a nimble obstructionist that they're, that they're drawing so they can counter one of the abilities. <laughs> uh, bait successful. Excellent. Love it. All right, five and two. Feeling good. Even when I'm playing new archetypes, new archetypes, still got to find a way to play Discover the Formula. But yeah, this, no, this is fun. This is nice little red-green ramp deck with uh, some splash bombs of other colors, right? Magma Opus, Scarab God, um, the Discover the Formula, of course. What else? I guess I'm not playing the Overwhelming Splendor. It's kind of nice to have exactly, you know, a couple hits at the top end for that Settle the Wilds card. Like that last game where I was able to settle and know exactly what I was seeking up with seven lands on the battlefield. It feels good. Because that turn I went from, what, seven mana to like 15? Pretty crazy. Okay, we are on the play. This is a keeper. Needs to find another land really badly. But we have explored to draw an extra card and then settle to uh, ramp us out a bit. So this could be a very, very early Ren in seven. Excellent. We found the land because I'm a hero. Red source. Yeah, that counts. Wow, what a great turn. In fact, this could be a turn three Renin seven if I draw a land. That would be crazy. Come on, untap land for turn three Renin seven, please. Yeah. Wait a minute, play with fire. I think because we see play with, play with fire, I actually try to draw some lands here we will help you that is not ideal what if they just shoot my goose will only unleash inferno. uh shoot how many more sixes do i have it's only permanence for this right I guess we can go get the orrery. If I go with zero here, this is kind of funny. Go with orrery here. I'm sorry, go with zero here. Play out the Temple of Abandon. It doesn't matter because we're going to shuffle this all the way anyways. I get to play my land for the turn. I then get to uh, settle. Have seven. Go grab the orrery. Perfect. All right. And then we still get to hold up both uh, goose activation and scorching. I think if they go for a play with fire on the goose, I wouldn't make a treasure in response. That is unfortunate. Yucky. Yucky. Oh, they discarded the play with fire now. Nice. Alright, well now I'm going to make a token with Ren. Shoot the Brawl. Block the Augur. Slam the Orrery. Maybe 
make a food with the extra mana. I'm sure they have another removal spell for Ren, but... That's fine, they don't... Oh, I forgot to crew the caravan in response! Oh, it doesn't matter, they had a bolt anyways. Disregard. Have 10 mana worth of permanence, draw one card. I've seen better. <laughs> I've seen better. Jace. Okay. Milling me, mill the land and a magma opus. That's fine. All right, do you have a counter for this? They do not. So we can go get Vorin Klex here. Back the Jace. We want to hold up another activation. What can I... I can grab their auger now? Yeah, that seems good enough. <sighs> they might have a wrath of some variety, but... Not mill a creature of mine, sadly. I mean, what are they going to do here? Even if they do have some random board wipe, I get to uh, get the Scarab God back at end of turn. Oh, a time warp. Okay, that's bad. In fact, now what I'm going to do is actually Magma Quake for one. To just kill the Jace. Instead of getting back the uh, Augur. Because they might have an Epiphany now as well. And that would be way too much mill. That does not hit Time Warp. That hits Bolt or Play with Fire? That's not very good, sure. Let's put a pause on our upkeep. Mizzix's Mastery Time Warp! Alright, I mean, they're kind of doing it. I'm glad I killed the Jace. It'd be pretty funny now if they had the epiphany, too. <laughs> uh, yeah? I guess they're just going to fire off memory. They'll still have four mana left over. Oh, they didn't? What? Now I'm confused. Definitely want to draw Thrag Daddy. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, that's good by me. I can flash back my saddle or something. I think we're just going to play Thrag Tusk and pass. I don't see a reason to do anything else. I don't know why they didn't fire off memory last turn. Or maybe they're just over it. Oh, I guess they're just off of it. Okay, yeah, they were just off of it. The opponent had a sweet deck, but... Uh, the thing about the time walk effects, you really need something going on to make them relevant. So the fact that we killed their Jace, we just took away everything that they had going on. So that was a good thing we had the Magma Quake there because that could have been very bad. Um, 
Yeah, six and two now. Six and two. I'm digging it. Can we pull off the seven winner with this red green XX ramp deck? Still super funny, I think. Red green splashing double blue. <laughs> uh stupid discover the formula. Can you just imagine if this if that card wasn't printed? Think of how many different decks I could have drafted by now. Although, to be fair, this, again, this one is different. And I'm not just saying that to, to persuade myself, because I know there will be some purists in the, in the frickin' uh, tuber section. Oh my god, why is he playing blue again, even though he's red-green? Shut up! That's what I have to say. All right, on the play here for our ninth and final game. We need to draw a couple more lands, ideally, and looks like we are. Let's go ahead and name black here. For language purposes. Are we looking to draw, like, Oracle into a land on top would be pretty nice. Elixir, I will accept that draw as well instead of just Scorching, because that gives us two life back and a Scry and a perfect black source indeed. All right, this is bingo, bango, bongo. I'm already feeling super confident. I'm just going to pretend they're Demonic Tutoring for a land. In which case, I'm still very confident. So do we want to run or do we want to escape? I think we'll go for an escape. Oh no. We hit too many good cards. Let's leave the land on top. Shoot, we're going to lose. We're going to lose some of these cards. I guess we're going to go Explore plus Scare of God, but we lose Magma Quake and Opus. That's pretty unfortunate. Sure, the opponent's got some anemic beats going on. Wow, sad. Well, Magma Quake wouldn't even be good because it doesn't hit the Jadar anymore anyway. Why is it tapping my only blue source? Don't do that. Alright, gain two more. Two, four, oh yeah. Oh yeah! The orrery is in, baby! Orrery into languish or something? Especially if opponent's just missing land drops. Definitely gonna block the uh, token even if they have a way to finish off the Scarab God. Alright, Celestis doesn't matter. I'm just gonna play it a little bit safer though. Let's attack for five, play the Orrery, and then... Uh... Yeah, I think I like Languishing here. They're pretty far behind on mana, so let's just wrap the board, clear it out, and then we can just hand dump next turn. And I mean, they might even concede here in the next turn or two, right? Mm, Gonti's good. Not good enough, but Gonti's good. All right, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Uh, okay, so we're not gonna upkeep. Scarab God. We are going to Dragonfire. Smack for five. Thrag Tusk. Renin seven. Make a seven seven. And I would guess they are probably going to scoop. So if they can come back from this, props to them.
Joker. Get left with a 3-3. Scarab God comes back. Uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I don't want to activate that too many times. I have to be a little bit wary of milling too much, but... Yeah, we're just going to pass here. And they're just dead on board, right? GG's. Steal your Jadar. Make another Thrag Daddy. Easy peasy, baby. Easy peasy. Alright, I am stoked. Stoked about this deck. Red green ramp splashing for bombs. What more could you ask for in life? Nothing. Because this is perfection. Perfection! Mm. There was that unfortunate punt in an earlier round. Actually, we were, what, like 2-2 two and two at one point? And we just rattled off a bunch of wins? That felt good. Um, yeah, so red-green ramp, splashing for bombs. Look at that. Fun one. Uh, there aren't going to be two more arena cubes, sadly, for these daily videos that I upload. There will probably be some number still uploaded for the VODs in the morning. But uh, arena cube goes down tomorrow as of this recording, so... Thanks for watching this one, everybody. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And we'll see you back tomorrow for another Drafto.